Hey guys, Joe Davies here, and today on Weird Health News, I'm going to be administering a home blood test on myself using the Eldon Home Test Kit, and I'm doing this to find out my blood type. I've never known what it is, and I've been wanting to know because there's a lot of theories out there that I've been seeing concerning blood type, but one that I've been interested in the most is the RH negative factor of blood type. And why do some people feel that this blood type originates from an extraterrestrial source or possibly as like a remnants of an ancient bloodline or race that's been lost somehow in time? So, okay, so I'm just going to jump into this blood test here. You know, I'm going to prick my finger, let the blood drop where it may, and I'm gonna find out if I'm an alien or not. All right, let's go. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you what's in in the uh, what's in the, El the Eldon Home Kit. It comes in this plastic bag. I've taken everything out already, um, and I've opened up the. Um, you just pull off the foil there. Open this up. I got the card out. So it's got the card in here. It's got th four circles on there, each with a different reagent that will react differently to a different type of blood. So. I'm gonna put a drop of blood in each of these circles, mix it up, and the way it reacts, it, you'll be able to tell what your blood type is. This is what um, pokes you, and you can pull, you twist, and you pull this thing off, and there's, and there's a, a needle in here, one-time use. Careful not to touch things too much. Everything should be very sanitary. Suck up water, and then I'll put a drop of water and each of these. And once I do this, I, I have I have very little time, so, okay. Okay, I, I've removed the safety on it. I had to twist and pull. So now, the finger that you're supposed to is uh, either your middle finger or your ring finger, middle finger or ring finger on the side closest to your pinky. That's in the instructions, that's what it says. So I guess, like, this is the side that's gonna bleed the most, they think. Thinking of playing guitar. Like what finger would be the best? Maybe this finger, my ring finger. I think I'm gonna do my ring finger. And all there's left to do really is is to stick your finger. Here I go, I'm gonna stick my finger. I don't wanna stick my finger. <laughs> Didn't hurt. Didn't hurt. Get the blood flow. Get the blood to flow. I don't got much blood on this. Okay, here it comes. Just keep milking it. Just keep squeezing it. Get a nice drop of blood on your finger. The prick didn't hurt at all. And then you take one of these, you wipe as much blood on there as you can. Get the blood. seen a reaction okay so now I can throw away these sticks throw away the sticks and if you can notice there's one of these that's already reacting so you can my blood's just dripping right off there's one of them that has a has a reaction it's pretty conclusive I think we can tell I don't know if you guys could see that we'll put, a, put it up for you guys there um, Let's look at the uh, the cheat sheet here and see what they say. You can see, like, I had a reaction on this one and I didn't have a reaction on any of the other ones. So that makes me A negative. So 85% of the human population has RH positive blood and only 15% has RH negative traits. So before making this video, I honestly didn't know my blood type and I am really surprised to learn that I have RH negative blood. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but... <laughs> okay, you're probably thinking to yourself, what is this negative blood type? What's the big deal about it? Well, I'll fill you guys in right now. 
Health problems may occur for the unborn child of a mother with RH negative blood when the baby is RH positive. This has led some to suggest that RH negative blood must be of non-human origin. Theories range from supernatural ones such as being of divine descent or membership into a divinely chosen group to a more scientific or pseudoscientific explanation such as inbreeding with extraterrestrials. The majority of scientists who have studied the blood type have concluded that it's most likely just a random mutation. This explanation seems to be the one most consistent with available evidence and the one that's most likely to be able to withstand Occam's razor. What is unusual about RH negative blood is that the gene for it is surprisingly common despite being potentially harmful. When a woman who is RH negative is pregnant with a child that is RH positive, the blood for the mother is essentially toxic to the child. To some people, this looks like the mother's body is rejecting the baby, which has led them to suggest that perhaps the reason for the rejection is incompatibility based on the mother and child being of different species. One population which contains an unusually high frequency of the gene for the RH negative blood type are the Basques of northeastern Spain. The Basques have the highest incident of the gene out of any population in the world. The Basques also speak a non-Indo-European language and have genetic markers that predate the rise of agriculture. This has led to speculation that RH negative blood is related to Cro-Magnon ancestry, going back to the Upper Paleolithic period in Europe. Among the more exotic theories is the idea that RH negative gene represents a separate branch of humanity that intermarried with the branch that came out of Africa. One blogger has gone as far to say that those with RH negative blood are descendants of the Hyperborean race which they believe to be the original human race. Followers of this idea believe that this race was blonde haired and blue eyed and included most major spiritual teachers in history, including Jesus. Okay, so, so uh, there's some weird characteristics of RH negative people and I, I'm just gonna just brush through a few of them here. RH negative people feel like they don't belong in overall society. They're also true seekers and they feel like they have some type of empathy. And I'm not sure if I have any extra ribs or vertebrae, but maybe, and if I do, you guys will be the first to know. I'll, I'll make a video about it. And so yeah, just a couple of last things about RH negative. They supposedly have predominant blue, green, and hazel eyes, and I have hazel eyes that are surrounded by a loop of blue. They also have uh, possibly red, red tinted hair. Prone to alien abduction? Not that I can remember. Hmm. Psychic dreaming ability. I have really weird dreams for sure. Uh, maybe, maybe everybody else has weird dreams too. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed finding out that I was RH negative. That is really interesting to me. I, I, I got to do some more research on this, guys. And I want you guys to leave me some comments down in the description below. Tell me about your blood type. Tell me anything. So anyways, guys, I, I just hope that I can create some new dialogue with you guys and um, you know some of you new subscribers or old subscribers or you know, let me know down in the comment below but all right um, I'm a negative RH negative what are you thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>